percent. From D.C. to California and even Italy, the Women's March has stretched across the country and around the world. And right here in Reno, I'm so excited, I can't believe it. The story is the same. We're one human race, and I think that's what people need to recognize. Women are power. Black women are power. Thousands marched from the federal building on South Virginia to the Believe sign, waving posters and chanting. Show me what democracy sounds like. This is what democracy sounds like. My girlfriend's a woman. My mom's a woman. I like to think that I like to support those people, and I'm out here to... Be there for them. Like I, I want to be out here and support them in any way I can. The march falls on the anniversary of President Trump's inauguration, and marchers say that was intentional. Now is the time. I feel like so many things have happened in the last year, and it's really time for us to just band together. Everyone has their own personal reasons for being out here and marching today. Some say they're angry, others frustrated, but there's also a message of hope. Being here surrounded by people who are just smiling and peacefully assembling, that to me is the biggest sign that we're still together and there is still unity in the country. Organizer Sharon Brown says the best way to promote change is through the ballot box. Your vote does count and it especially counts here locally. In Nevada, we can make some policy changes here with our voices. It's so incredibly important. The Nevada primary election is coming up on June 12th and the general election on November 6th. In Reno, Kristen